Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield Competitive Ranked Battle. I have said many times in the past that I'm going to be, even when I win or lose, I'm going to show it on the channel. I just lost a battle that I'm not going to show because it was the swiftest 4-0 spanking I've ever received in my whole life. His whole team 100,000% countered my whole team, and it was gross. Like, and like, I could have made better plays though and still won the game, but he just destroyed me. So what is this team here? I hate that freaking Weezing. Galar Weezing. Not a fan. Duraludon, I'm not a fan of. Okay, Excadrill, Braviary. Man, I don't... I don't like this team at all. We're gonna do... We want a Tailwind. Tailwind, and we want... We want Gatron on the back. So we want a Tailwind, and we want... I didn't even want to bring Dragapult at all, actually. We want Rotom for sure, Rotom. Rotom can do some work. What we'll do, we'll bring Dragapults in the back. Dragapults in the back with, ooh, with Corviknight. Corviknight steal for that Weezing. Yeah, e ooh. I don't know if I even want to once caught at all, actually. No, I do. I do. I do. Okay. I feel like this is a pretty good play here. I just don't like that wheezing. That wheezing really... Because my Winspacot without Prankster... I mean, they could just double up into that Winspacot slot. Even if I have Focus Sash, I just go down, you know? So I don't want that to happen. So let's see. Let's see the plays here. Okay, right, Togedemaru and Braviary. Okay. So I'm glad I led with Winspacot for sure then. Which is, or not what we got. Rotom. Rotom for sure is super good against this team right here. So we're going to Tailwind it up. And then we're going to overheat. Actually, do we want to trick first before we overheat? Hmm. I kind of want to trick first. But I don't know what Togodemaru or Bravery even want to hold. You know what I'm saying? Let's just trick the Togodemaru slot. I don't know. I feel like Braviary kind of wants to hold the Life Orb or Leftovers, but probably a Life Orb. I don't really want a Life Orb on Rotom. I want to do it to Togedemaru and just see what he's holding. Braviary uses to protect. Okay. So good thing I didn't trick that. And then what does this Togedemaru uses Fake Out on Winsmacot? Why does Fake Out outspeed me? Dang it. I really wish it didn't outspeed me so I could have tricked him into being stuck into Fake Out. That'd be so perfect. So I took his Focus Sash. Okay. Now. Now this man is in big trouble. So now I kind of want to Dynamax. I kind of want to Dynamax. Um, ooh, I kind of really want to Dynamax. Fire. Yeah, he doesn't even benefit from that at all. I'm 100% going to Dynamax Fire now that he doesn't even have a Focus Sash. He's going to need to switch or protect here. Absolutely. I'm going to have a Sunny Day set up. I'm going to have a Tailwind set up. I mean, I gave him Choice Scarf, so I made him go a little bit faster, but now he is stuck in whatever turn he picks. I really wish Fake Out didn't out-prioritize my Prankster, though. Because if he didn't, if my if my Prankster out-prioritized him, he'd be stuck in a Fake Out right now if my trick went first, and that would have been sick. Actually, no, it wouldn't even matter because he's still prioritized. Never mind, so that would not have even mattered. I take that back. Okay, so you chain one blue behind. Max Flare and this Togedemaru is not going to protect or switch. He's just going to take the beating of a lifetime on this Togedemaru. And now I just have a Sunny Day Dynamax Rotom that is ready to electric train the Braviary next. I mean, yikes, dude. Oh, he's going to Tailwind on Braviary. Okay. Not too bad of a plan. Not too bad of a plan. Here's the thing. Did my... No, he outsped. No, no, no. I don't even know if his Bravery outsped or not because he used, he used Protect. Oh, now he's making me make decisions. Who do I want? Do I want the extra drill? Or do I want... Oh, boy. Um... I think I'm going to Giga Drain here. Does, you know, does Giga Drain reset? Giga Drain doesn't reset... Focus Asher. No, it doesn't. It doesn't even make sense. So we're gonna just Moon Blast and Braviary and then Flare. Yeah. 
I feel like this is the plan. Because I want to lightning the Braviary, but I feel like his Braviary isn't going to do anything anymore. When his extra drill could still hone claws. I don't want that. But also, like, I have the fire up. I really want to keep the fire. Okay. I'm really glad I max flared into this extra drill now. Because he's going to be Dynamax. And I just want to hopefully see if I can just knock him out in one hit. And he's not going to have a Sand Stream. So if he has Sand Rush, he will not be going first. So I should outspeed him. I hope. I really hope I outspeed him right now. I honestly don't know my Pokemon stats at all. Winter Bacot's going to use Moonblast. Winter Bacot's a fast boy. That's just for, you know, just the damage. Oh, I absolutely do not go first. He is going to Rockfall my Rotom. I'm going to live that though, right? Oh, yeah. We are living that. Okay. Whew. That was really scary. Yeah, I don't know my Pokemon stats. I really should get to learning those. That kind of sucks though because now he just took away my Electric Terrain. Or my Sunny Day, my Drought. And he lives too. Okay, so here's what we're going to do then. We will just Energy Ball into the Extra Drill this turn. Knock him out first. Anyway, he's going to knock out Winsmacott, so never mind. I won't be able to do that. Winsmacott cannot take that. Man, that really ruins my play because if I could have Energy Balled that Extra Drill next turn, like, you know, me guaranteeing going first, he definitely has Life Orb. Oh, wait. No, Brave Bird just does recoil damage. I'm so stupid. So he just ate his Berry, Citrus Berry. Okay. So... Now I do, I feel like Dragapult's definitely the play here. Dragapult's 100% going to outspeed, especially because I have my own Tailwind. And he doesn't have Sand Rush anymore. And I don't need, I only brought Corviknight just in case they brought the Weezing, to be quite honest with you. So I feel like this is my play right here and right now. We want to just Shadow Ball, this extra drill, knock this boy out. And then we're going to max Lightning 120, 130 into this Braviary slot. I feel like this is the play. This is the play of a lifetime right here. Okay, come on. Come on now. Come on now with your bad self. What you doing? What you doing with all that junk? All that junk inside that trunk. Are you gonna get, get, get me drunk? Okay, that honestly scared me for like a half a second that that wasn't going to go down because he went down so slowly. Okay, so that knocks out the extra drill. Bang, bang. We're doing super good now. This should knock out Braviary. And we should have a nice swift victory. Oh my goodness. We just played this game. I mean, that game got really scary for a second with that extra drill. I was speeding my Rotom. But we just, I mean, we just played that game like an absolute champion. Who's his last mod? Bring up the Weezing. Bring out your Weezing, mother lover. Oh, wait, does he still have two? I knocked out Extra Drill and I knocked out... Yeah, he still has two. Because I only knocked out Extra Drill and I knocked out... Um, I'm stupid. Who did I knock out? Okay, shiny. Man, I really just don't pay enough attention. I did knock out all three. Okay, that's what I thought. Bravery. Freaking... Extra drill, and who was the last one I knocked out? The first one. Oh, the Togedimmer. That thing didn't even stand a chance against me, so I didn't even care about it. So well, let's go ahead. I think we should just Fire Blast, just because we have the heat or the, the drought up. And then we can just overheat as well. Bada bing, bada boom. Kind of wonder if I should just trick this thing, because I feel like this thing has choice scarf or choice something, and I can take that away. But whatever. I mean, we both outsped, and we both landed our shots, and bada bing, bada boom, the round I didn't even have a chance to move. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's Pokemon Sword and Shield Ranked. I just like to make these nice and short. I feel like when my videos are too long, uh, since, like, I don't have, like, an established fan base right now, I feel like it's nice to just have a short video. It's easier to click on. Like, when I'm scrolling through, and I see, like, a new, new YouTube video, and they, you know, they have, like, a... You know, like a super long video. Oh, weakness policy. And they have a super long video. I just feel like I'm more likely to, like, pick a video that um is shorter. You know? So, I don't know. He did caught this Togedimaru in a Master Ball, huh? Interesting. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for stopping by. Guys, check out the description below for all the links to all my socials, Twitter, Instagram, all the running on empty stuff. All I believe I have, I have updated it with the takeoff podcast information. And also the running on empty merch store. Check all that out in the description below. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll see you later.